All right, everybody, let's see if we can find a game. This guy's looking for a comp game. Give it Levi. Uh, Dory. Okay, so what Dory do we think is being presented here? Um... If it's Fatigue Dory, I want both of those cards. That's really what I'm deciding right now. I think I want my Yellow Dread Screamer and then one Pulping. Uh, I just really don't know if it's Fatigue. Am I better off not doing that? Am I better just doing that? If it's Traditional Dory, I don't want this many non-blocks in. Uh, I also don't love bringing Pulping and a Howl and a Ghostly in. Like, it's kind of... I mean, I guess it's not that much different from the Yellow Screamer. Let's present this, see what we get. It's Decimator. Okay. Um, that's a free Quicken token for them. That I don't want to do. This I want to Arsenal. We're going to spin the Scab Skins. Five, that sounds great. Here you go. Uh, and they presented 62 which is important to note when you're playing someone. I always ask them when I sit down, hey, how many cards did you present? So do I think they can block all eight? Yes, I do. So in that case, we'll just present another scab or another claw. What are the odds they couldn't block all eight? They'd have to be sitting like a pride. But again, I don't expect a pride when I say decimator. There, Arsenal, that. So this is not a great hand. I want to pretty much block with this ghostly visit here. I could block Ghostly and Swing Big. I just really hate blocking with Swing Big. Coming in for seven. Do I care? So if I block with both of these, I can guarantee the draw of the beast with him, which is pretty big, which should help me maximize the Claw Claw. Here, I'm hoping I get it. Let's hope. I like hope. I can dream. We saw last ditch efforts all the way at the top. So we go here. Okay, well, of course, that's fine. Uh, pulping, pulping hits. So we could go pulping, or excuse me, screamer hits. Um, pulping also could hit. I think the correct is, so that's interesting. We go pulping, try to discard the beast within. Hmm. Because our normal line only gets us 10, right? We can go claw there, or we can go claw here. That'll present 14, or excuse me, um, 13. I almost want to play Pulping now. The odds of them having a D-reactor really high. You're right. We present a Man of Claw. Yep. Okay. There it is. That's what we didn't want for the Pulping. Uh, I'm now willing to risk... Now willing to risk the Pulping... Draw me a yellow card. Let me swing that mandible claw again. Okay, we did not. That's fine. I'm happy to arsenal and dread screamer. Only 13 damage off a of bellows turn. Off a of four card bellows turn. It's not ideal. We took a lot of damage for that. Two sink bellows. Uh, that's a big axe. So what is our turn actually representing? I'd like to arsenal the Art of War. I go bing bing. Present nine. Do I really just take eight? Things like, I really don't like those going into arsenal this, or uh, into debt this early. Especially with it being a longer game. We are losing damage trades with what I think is a fatigue Dorinthia, so that's that's a bad sign. It's definitely a fatigue Dorinthia, and we're losing the damage. That's great. 
Already played one Bellows. Doing fantastic. Oh, Franklin's out. A couple of you have asked. He's basically full grown. That's only a 75 gallon tank. We'll get him a larger tank when he's older. Okay, that's all three sink blows and one fate now. There's a ton of D-reacts. Pulping is not feeling great right now. So this hand is a hand. I guess I pitch a bellows to a bellows. Those are my only two bellows. I'm going to discard a card I really don't like, but that's fine. Wow. Um, Jesus. Uh, I don't think am I going to be able to utilize go again? I think it's just buff, right? I could have utilized go again. Okay, that's fine. Let's start here. These have not been great. Blood Rush turns. I guess I'm glad that Blood Rush is in my pitch because I'm probably going to need to close this game out or I'm going to need to be really great with Blasma Fett. I think I just present the 8. I don't love discarding a card here. Uh, okay, so my bin is... Do I want the Ghostly down? Do I expect Remembrance from him? I think I just want the ghostly down. Oh, I'm sorry, ghostly. If your remembrance is me, we just deal with it when we get there. Red overpower. Okay, so his deck has more damage in it than I expected. I think it's more just like a old Reinar deck block with two cards. That was actually a really clean block. Makes me feel bad about myself. What the heck is his hand? I mean, I have one card that can block. All right, all right, we got this. So we're gonna go Dread Screamer. I'm gonna hit the scabs. Let's see what we get after this. <clears throat> so chipping away, chipping away. Give me some love here. Let's see what the gods say. Five, five's great. Um, start with a claw. And honestly, we might not even play the ghostly if we don't have to. I think I'd rather leave the ghostly down there. I'd rather leave the ghostly down there. For a time when I, you know, I only have the one float or something. It's just a little smoother. Yeah, got a block out of him. Oh, he actually. Just... Why though? Uh, seventeen. Too early to flip. Seventeen puts me in a weird spot. I block with. Can I get this off my screen? Thanks. So I want to Art of War, banish buff. Banish go again. Swing, swing, swing. Can I take four to seventeen? Sure, let's do it. Uh, 
So we're going to go here. Go again, banish draw two. Yep, for real. Banish this graveling. Okay, so we have go again, banish draw two. So first has got to be the swing big. Giving them a quicken is not ideal. I'm not going to hate it if I arsenal this reckless. He probably puts the bracers up. Yeah, it's okay. So giving them a quicken, not my favorite thing in the world, but we'll deal with that. It's future me's problem. And then honestly, after this, we'll probably hit the scabs. Because if we get two, we can send seven more damage this turn. And if we fail, worst case, we arsenal this reckless swing. Actually, reckless swing in that decimator feels pretty bad. Blocks two. Feels really bad. Maybe I'm just not greedy and swing mandible. Nah, we roll them. The gods will let us decide. Yeah, it's great. I'm so good at this game. Tied it up. We still have the husk. We can put the husk in front of the desert. Oh, okay. So, well, it was tied up. Maybe he can't block? Uh, it's first, then those. Yeah, okay, can't block. <clears throat> so arsenaling and offering is probably one of my least favorite things to do in the entire world. So like we can convulsions, the gravel and ghoul, gravel and ghoul. Oh, maybe that's the play. Yeah, I think that's a play. Good call. Good call. <clears throat> convulsions we hit and we send the other offering arsenaling the graveling i'd much rather the graveling down there than the diabolic it's just a way higher chance of me actually playing this out and this is coming for seven dominate i guess that would have been eight dominate but that's fine <clears throat> excuse me so we only have three two of them are pretty good if we just like when we want to blast pivot here you gonna shunt me again? Oasis. Sure, man. Oh, this is a bad hand. Um Did this consume the quicken? It did consume the quicken. It's two decimators here. Do you think I can flesh bag them off one of these? Let's try it. Let's try it. Yep, yeah, got him. Feels great. So if we're greedy here, we scabs. Nah, we're not greedy. Let's just send the endless mall. Greedy with like sent 16. If we bonk out here, that feels real hard. But they can't really punish us though, right? Their deck's not made to punish. Sure, sure, sure. So good at this game. And we got the other Dread Scream right now. Okay, so now we have two red Dread Screamers. And an Endless Maw down there. I would be happy flipping if we can get the Blast to go. So five is more than enough to get it there. Basically, if we can <clears throat> pivot with a Blood Rush turn, which we know is actually not coming for quite a while. Or, Jesus, guys, tech blocks well. Or... Just honestly, just an endless swing or like a savage feast turn. That's fine. I've got enough in arsenal, or I've got enough in down here that like I'm not gonna mill myself too quickly with only five, so I'm playing one out per turn. Should be good. Yeah, use your shunt in efficiently. You have pitch cards for it. Oh, okay, well, you used it pretty efficiently. Well played, Dorinthia. What the heck is this hand? Um here, here, banish that, go again. I can't take four, that puts me under. I can take two. Cross is block, present claw arsenal there. That flips me. Nah. 
Go to 15. Go again, banish. Turns on the graveling ghoul. Puts an endless mall in banish, which I don't hate. Okay. I think I actually want a savage feast. Yeah, I want a savage feast. So this is six via claws, right? Or I can send six dominate here. Let's swing, see what they do. I wouldn't mind arsling the pulping because I, I could use the pulping to get that Leviathan flip turn. This feels like a good opportunity to push damage. Push damage, blink out of turn. The bellows is coming up. Pulping into this, it feels so bad that there's so many. Yeah, we send. Let's watch that arsenal. Um, I haven't been paying attention to my pitch deck. I've been a bad player. <clears throat> okay, we need the gods to smile here. Okay, we could just go. I don't want to put much more in blood dead is the issue. Let's see what the gods say. The gods will decide for us. Four. Let's start with this and see what we get. Worst case, we can claw, present nine, flip over to Blasma Fett, Arsenal Marauder. Kind of always taking. Oh no, it's a fate for scene. Okay. I think I like that. I think this is about as good of a pivot turn as we're going to get here. I would like to be able to start pressuring with the Dread Screamers into 312s a little easier. We've been like dancing around how to present damage, a lot of three and four card nines, which feels horrible. Are you going to shunt me? Okay, Oasis is fine. Shunt would have been obnoxious. No, wait, did I lose my bellows? I don't even check in this version. Oh my god, we have six blood debt? Oh my god, Doomsday's awake? Oh my god, we're so good at this. So we can... Pitch... Screamer. Well, Doomsday at the end of his turn. Pitch Screamer. Pitch Swing Big. Here, you can have this. This isn't going to stick around for much longer anyway. Am I willing to just take four to the face? So our turn is Doomsday. There. There. One float. Probably roll the scabs. If I roll well, I get to swing an extra time. So I'll go to nine. That's fine. Sure. Oh my god. We know undo. And hope that they're nice about it. Play the Doomsday. Play the Dread Screamer. That was technically a huge misplay. Obviously in a competitive event, I just lose there. But this person was generous and I am grateful for their sacrifice. Um, do we scabs? Scabs is aggressive. I think we need to be aggressive. I like the scabs. I have a reroll. I've rolled scabs. Yep, that's due. Yep, okay, that's fine. We'll pass. I can't complain. I've rolled high every single time with scabby so far. Oh, and he's going to kill Blasmo. That's totally fine. 
You did you did a good job, buddy. Okay. Dread Screamer pitching here. That might have cost me the game. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. I bet he can just brick up for the rest of this. Do I scabs? Scabs lets me mandible swing big? Hmm. Probably not. Again, we're due for it, right? We've rolled, we've rolled scabs four times. We've gotten two action points three times and we've gotten a one twice because I guess we've rolled it five times because the gambler's closed. Seems fine. Just brute things. <clears throat> I love reaction. You're going to shunt from hand. Okay. I don't think I have that many turns left. I think I need to be aggressive to win the game. Let's see what this gods say. Two action points is great. So what are my legitimate options here? I can... I could send a Boneyard and a Swing Big this turn. Arsenal, Mark of the Beast. Let's send the Boneyard and see what he does. I say he, I should say they. I have no idea what their gender is. Okay, I'm just going to take this. So do I send the mark and just arsenal the swing big? Because this still presents lethal. No, I send the swing big. Hmm. Skull cap's pretty good. You've got to have that other shunt in your hand, right? Yeah, I thought you were sitting on it. All right, that way still gets him to take a couple points. Decimator? Okay, no decimator. Um, Endless Mark for nine? How do I get rid of both of these? I can't afford to bonk. What else is down at Gravelings? I can't play Gravelings. <clears throat> Go with an extra action point. That feels that feels way too risky here. I think I just need to send nine. I want them to swing. Two recklesses is so bad. Oh, they're also they're, also, they're out of reckless range now. So let's send just a normal reckless swing. I've got three to four more turns here. Nine is still a lot of damage. We should take cards out of their hand. Thought I had one more Screamer down there, but I guess I don't because I'm bad. You yeah, Tunic shunt me? Definitely gonna do something. These shunts are monstrous. Oh, Oasis. Oh, and he gains a life. That's actually pretty gnarly. <clears throat> yeah, end it right there. It's a cleave. It's a decimator. So honest question of do we care? Like I almost <clears throat> think we just need to maximize damage on our turn. So like do we just block two here, take six, go to three. Roll the scab skins. Try to beast mark. We have a reckless swing in two turns. We're, we, we're going to draw a reckless swing next turn. Because we're going to mill the top three cards of our deck. And then we're going to draw that other reckless swing up. That presents 12 into them. They only need to take three. Other alternative is I reckless swing them here to three. We can guarantee that with the block diabolic reckless swing. On our turn we present some amount of damage. I 
They're only at three though. I need to push them over. They're just gonna clean block next turn. Oh, I have an endless maw. Let's try to do that. So it should half that, right? Because it has to half the first time. Yep, and then we'll reckless. Didn't get the beast with him, which would have been super cute, but that's okay. That puts them to three. We know we're drawing one more. We just need them to take one. There's no way they take more damage here. I think we just present this for six. <clears throat> the problem with six is it's really unlikely they put, take a point of damage off this. They know I only have seven cards left, so they should just be full blocking and not swinging because they're not stupid. But people get greedy. We'll see what they do. It's kind of why I wish I had withering in my deck still. So he swung. Uh, why would you swing here, buddy? Um, this isn't lethal, though. I think I need the Reckless to be lethal. I'm just going to go to one. I need Scab Skins to give me another action. Perfect. So good at this game. Oh, but I'm not going to get that. Reckless is going to be turned off. Unless I sit on this Mark of the Beast in my hand. Well, let's see how this plays out. Maybe I didn't think this through very well. <clears throat> so with the timing of Blasma Fed here, it's important. I'll always have whatever I pitch this turn to draw back into. <clears throat> clean block, clean block. So <clears throat> I could pitch the Mark of the Beast and I know I would get it back. Four is tempting because it's a break point. If they take one off of it, then they would die to the Reckless. I know I'm going to draw that Mark of the Beast back up. That is tempting. Sure. Seems the most likely way that I killed them with a Reckless Swing, because then my turn, my hand is Dread Screamer, Reckless Swing, Mark of the Beast. I block with the Dread Screamer, I put the Reckless Beast up there. If they don't, then I just die. But this person's been pretty aggressive. They've been attacking me pretty consistently, so. <clears throat> I obviously did not play this well. I need a better plan into this deck. I really think I shouldn't have turned into Blasmo, because I lost that one Blood Rush Bellows. So I need one of my Blood Rush Bellows to be big. I knew I had a Blood Rush Bellow coming in the pitch the turn I pivoted into Blasmo. It's probably correct not to go Blasmo. Get that back. So if he's smart, he just double blocks. Passes the turn back to me. Blocks out, and then I die, right? If he's greedy, which he has been all game... Okay, well, now he's not going to take one. Oh, he's greedy. See, this is what I noticed. I don't understand why people prioritize swinging so much. Like, he should have won this game. If he takes two here, goes to one. I'm going to pass. Oh, I have an action point? That's fine. I'm going to pass the turn. Choose card to Arsenal. Arsenal. Uh, decline Arsenal. Yep, I'm sure. Okay, so now he's just passing. Okay, so he's, he's wisened up a bit now. Could I have pushed last turn then? Maybe I needed to. Uh, I can't play either of those. I'm not dead. I don't know. What if I just do this? Uh, undo. Maybe he'll be nice. Thanks, buddy. Scabskins. Pass. Nah. Are you sure you want to skip Arsenal? Yeah, I'm sure I want to skip Arsenal. <clears throat> it's like he has to attack me eventually. An Oasis doesn't let him live. Maybe he, he probably does have another Sigil in the deck. He could live with the Sigil, right? Because I only see one, two Sigil. Yeah, so there's another Sigil. So it's out to Sigil. I just don't know how he draws cards. I guess technically he draws cards if I start attacking with the Mandible Claws. Sure, bro. If he passes, that's smart. Oh, nope, it doesn't pass. Block. Swing. There you go. So, I absolutely should have lost that match. There's no reason <laughs> for it to be that close. Um... But yeah, we're going. That was Levaya. Hopefully my next game's better. Sorry I played so poorly. They really no excuses there. So thanks for tuning in. Sorry I don't know where Franklin went. Uh, until next time, cheers. Happy gaming.